Hello one and all, my name is Rio and welcome back to yet another match day vlog. So Chester FC back in action today uh, for our fourth match out of five in the space of a fortnight. So I've uh, had a really busy schedule lately. So uh, yeah, we are back at home today against Southport who we lost 3-0 against the last uh, Wednesday. So on Boxing Day it was a, a miserable day at the office field. So we really need to get back to win a race today and get one over Southport because uh, played them three times already this season. We haven't won a single game against them. So uh, especially at home today, we, we, you know, we have the best home record in the league. We uh, really got to win today so it is new year's day today so I wish you all a very happy new year hopefully uh, 2019 will be a blue year for Chester SC hopefully we can uh, get uh, get back promoted so hopefully we can get it, uh, get it off to the best possible start today against Southport so of course I really hope you enjoyed the video today please leave a like subscribe to my channel also feel free to uh, comment down your thoughts on the game below so let's get into today's video right now Southport will be making a short journey from Merseyside, having had a bit of an inconsistent season so far, so uh, that's your main just to digest it a little bit, because I must have say, said this now about 8,000 times, because we played Southport so many times this season. Uh, they had a bit of a, you know, a, bit of a uh, rocky start to the season, because they lost the first four games, and uh, considering the, you know, the signs were really good players, and some of the likes of Dion Charles, uh, Ryan Assels, uh, you know, uh, Jordan Archer as well, on loan from Berry, you know, they've had a bit of a uh, turgid start to the season, so yes, yeah, so uh, you know, they lost the first four matches, and uh, fair play to Liam Watson, who's the manager, he's turning things around there because uh, they had a decent run in, the, in, run in the FA Trophy where they got to the first round. Uh, they lost against Solly Hall the other week, but uh, also in the FA Cup, yeah, they won as well. They lost 2 0 at home to Trammy Rovers uh, two weeks ago yesterday. And uh, if they'd have beaten Trammy Rovers, they would have been at home against Tottenham Hotspur. So uh, Trammy are playing uh, playing against Tottenham Hotspur this Friday, uh, live on the telly as well. So that would have been some game for Southport, but uh, they did lose to Trammy. So they have had a couple of decent runs in the uh, domestic cup competitions and also in the league. Uh, commonly as it stands, they have won the last three matches. So uh, they are coming into this game on the back of a really good run of form. They are uh, now, I think they are 17, uh, 16th in the table, I think. So uh, they are doing quite well now. So, you know, it won't be an easy game for us by no means today, but hopefully, uh, you know, for we need to get back to win the race today back at home because we actually have one of the worst away records in the league which is uh, quite surprising considering uh, we are fifth in the table but at home uh, we have got the best home record so hopefully we can because uh, we only lost one match at home all season so hopefully we can get another win today uh, get back on track against Southport so uh, Southport they have got a few uh, players so who will be returning to the Swans way today uh, four former Chester SC players so so this is Liam Davis, Jordan Archer, Ryan Nassos and Jason Gilchrist. So uh, that is four players who will be returning to the Swans way today. And also uh, John McCarthy, who's Southport assistant manager. Uh, he was our manager uh, for two years between uh, 2016 and 2017. So it'll be interesting to see what reception he gets today. So uh, a few former people returning to the Swans way today. So hopefully we can get one over them, uh, especially John McCarthy. So uh, can't wait for the game. Now Southport, they are the you know, the only good run of form now. So we've got to avenge that today. Because um, as I say, we have played them three times. So this season, so uh, first of all, the FA Trophy uh, third qualified round, we um, drew another little way at Southport at Hague Avenue uh, back in November, so just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so that meant just a few days later, it was a replay, uh, you know, back at the Diva Stadium. Uh, we lost 2 0 so it's a really disappointing result for us that night. And it was, you may know, last Wednesday I did, uh, did a vlog in the game, and I must say, but yeah, you know, we, uh, we played really poor against Southport, and we lost 3 0 away on Boxing Day. So, uh, as I say, you know, I know we've got a few players injured, we've got um, Matty Thompson, Danny Liffesey, Scott. Burst and the Kwasi Sante, um, Gary Stockforth, and also uh, Matty Hughes. So that's six players out injured, six of our key players who were out injured. And uh, you know, as, as I say, on, uh, you know, uh, on Saturday at Hereford FC, uh, you, know, you know, the majority of those players were injured, and it was. Uh, just played the part in our two defeat really, but still we are at home today. We're going to have a big crowd, so well over two thousand, I expect, because you know at this time of year, we, uh, you know New on New Year's Day especially, we do get uh, big crowds there. So I uh, need to put this to bed today. You know, beat Southport, who are uh, sit seat from the table. We're fifth, so uh, we are still flying high in the table. So we've got to win today. So yeah, it will be a tough game today. We haven't got the best of records against Southport, but still we got to beat them today. So yeah, can't wait for the game. Also, um, you know, we got to uh, put this to bed today. So uh, it should be a great game to, uh, for me today. Hopefully we can kick start off 2019 in the best possible way today because at the end of the day we have got uh, one of the best home records in the league. So comment for the uh, comment for the game today. So of course, hey, we enjoyed the video today. So uh, my score prediction is Chester SC two, uh, Southport nil. No, so I do think we'll win today. I think uh, George Green and Bradley Jackson will score. So uh, I do think we'll get back to win the race today because at the end of the day we got to at the end of the day uh, we have got a good one coming up.
up, we've got Southport's home today, uh, West Sea United and Manchester Rail on Saturday, then uh, you know, the following Saturday we're at home to uh, Geisley, then the, uh, the week after we're at home to the Curzon National. So we have got a favourable fixture this coming up. So uh, as I say, you know, as I said in my brief yesterday, we got to get 12 points out of this. And uh, we got to get maximum points out of these games, so of course. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video today and my highlights are recording right now, so of course. Make sure you enjoy the video today and also please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment down your thoughts on the game too. And also voting for my Chester SC Golden Month competition for December ends at midnight tonight. So uh, make sure to get your votes in ASAP if you haven't already. So cool. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Come on, City. Let's make it a great start to 2019. Come on, lads. Here is today's Chester Wesley squad, so we are in a 4-4-2 formation, so his goal is number 1 Grant Shenson, in defence is 2 Matty Waters, 3 Simon Grant, 4 Bradley Jackson and 5 Steve Halson. In midfield is 6 Captain Gary Roberts, 7 Craig Marne, 8 Dan Mooney and 10 George Green, and up front is number 9 Dean Smalley and 11 Anthony Dudley. The substitutes bench for the Blues is 12 John Moran, 14 Ewan Murray, 15 K Noble, 16 Adam Dawson, 17 Lloyd Marsh Hughes. Here is Southport squad for today's game to the court. Here in the video, come on City, up the seals, let's bring home the three points. Come on lads. <laughs>
Okay, there we are, half time, but it's a nice walk. Good morning, we've had a go on today's 50-50 draw. Please have your tickets ready, ASAP, and we'll give you the result of that. The winning prize today... Well, 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 well,
Chester FC nil, Southport nil. So it was by no means a thriller today. It wasn't the best of games, but I might have taken the point all day long today because Southport, they had uh, come into this game on the back of a really good run of form. We managed to stop them today and uh, know uh, they have one of the biggest budgets in the league. So a uh, decent point for us today. At least we stopped the rot now. I've got a clean sheet and I uh, thought we played okay. So, you know, it wasn't the best of games, but I thought our performance was much better than uh, the first pitch at Hay Avenue last week and also the Hereford game. So, uh, you know, we haven't scored the goal today, but, um, uh, you know, uh, Quasi Santi is heading close to uh, signing for Chester FC. So, after the game was confirmed that he passed the medical this afternoon and he is set to sign an 18 month deal. So, uh, fantastic news for us. And um, uh, we were missing up front today, but as I say, we have had six players injured today. You know, six uh, key players are injured today. We managed to uh, still get a point today. So, uh, we are unbeaten in 2019. A bit of a tongue in cheek remark there, but it's true, isn't it? So, uh, you know, it's a decent point at the end of the day, really. You know, we, uh, it's a bit disappointing not to take all three, but I would have taken the point all day longer for uh, Matty Ward's team was really good today going forward. Grant Shenton made a couple of really good saves. Uh, Simon Grant, he was the rock at the back and also uh, for, you know, Bradley Jackson, he has a really good game as well today. George Green, too, he was lively on the ball today. So, uh, for most of our players played well today, but uh, let's talk to you about the game. So, in the first half, for Southwark, they, they, you know, thought they uh, came out of the blocks a bit uh, quicker than we did, to be honest. I thought uh, they were a bit more lively than, uh, than us, but, uh, you know, for we uh, we went into the game, you know, eventually for Matty Wards, he was uh, really lively going forward. He was a bit, you know, a bit of a threat, and uh, you know, for him to be thrown in the deep end, especially on Saturday at Hereford, where uh, you know we were getting beat. You know, he did really well on Saturday in the game today. Uh, so he has been out alone this season. He's been out alone at uh, Ridness FC, and also uh, I think it was um, Colwyn Bales at Barnes, Rich Town, someone. Uh, so he's been out alone twice this season. And, uh, no, hopefully this experience will uh, bode him well for the future because he has done well uh, with the last uh, couple of games now. So uh, again, he has a really good game. So, so I thought in the first half, you know, we had a few chances. Um, missed a bit of a sitter though. Yeah, Dan Mooney, you know, if you watched it in my video, uh, he just scuffed. You know, he didn't even take a shot really. Just uh, scuffed the air really. Uh, you know, it was a great, uh, great work. You know, great ball by uh, Anthony Dudley who uh, would have been a great goal. Would have been a great team goal if uh, Dan Mooney just smashed it home. But uh, sadly, it was a bit. Of, you know, just wasn't his day today. So it uh, would have been a great team goal but fact uh, you know sadly it was um no it, uh, never went in so I thought the first half was a bit flat really didn't you know didn't really consist of any uh, uh, goal malfaction but uh, to be fair, I did okay in the first half. I thought Southport weren't too great today. I thought overall we were probably the better team. You know, I thought we edged it today, uh, especially in the second half. I thought we did well in the second half. So, uh, went into the you know went into the break goal and also before the break as well. There, uh, Jordan Archer he missed a sitter too. So, uh, both sides missed two sitters really, which uh, you know could have been one all really. But uh, you know, uh, half time then also the second half. I thought we did really well in the second half. I thought we were much better. Still, you know, didn't really have many chances. But I thought Matty Ward he had a, a good chance as well. You know, we drove forward. You know. And uh, he took a shot from 30 yards. Uh, just went over. But I thought in the second half, he did well on the break, especially. We did well to uh, break up play as well. Because Southport, they were a tough side to play against today. I thought they weren't too great, but in the midfield and, you know, and defence, they were quite solid and uh, quite scrappy as well. So I thought in the second half, did, you know, we did okay today. Again, Grant Chenson made a couple of good saves. But uh, you know, later on in the, in the game, was a bit of a goal mile scramble you know, up uh, by the Harry McEnder. I thought um, you know, it was a bit of a. Uh, you know, could have gone either way really. So uh, Craig Marnie had a shot, you know, blocked by the Southport defender. Uh, he had a couple of bites at the cherry as well, but Southport they make uh, they remain resilient today. And also at the back, we were really good at the back today. Thought Simon Grandy was outstanding. I thought uh, Steve Halston, you know, he was no nonsense today. Uh, yeah, so I thought we deserved a clean sheet today. But at the end of the day, you know, I thought we were probably the better side. But uh, no complaints about the draw today. Thought a point was a pair, uh, you know fair result today. So. Uh, at least in, uh, you know, at least in lose today. Especially we, you know, we got uh, FC United and Manchester away on Saturday. Then uh, got two home games coming up. So hopefully we get, a, you know, we can get a few bodies uh, back for these games now. Because hopefully we, you know, we, we should be aiming for uh, maximum points out of these three games coming up. Now we've got FC United Saturday, uh, guys leave home next week, and of course uh, Kurs Nation uh, two weeks, uh, two weeks a day. So hey, uh, I've got you know a few uh, decent games coming up now. So hopefully we can get a few points on the board and uh, get a few bodies back too. And also uh, do uh, believe. Uh, you know, Kwasi Santi will be able to sign on, on the dotted line before Saturday. So, uh, fantastic news regarding the Kwasi Santi. He's been the revelation for so far. So, uh, you know, what had the match uh, today as well. So, hopefully, we can, you know, he can recover, uh, recover uh, from that injury as well. So, uh, no complaints about the result today. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is a point on the board. Hopefully, we can, you know, build on this now. So, uh, yeah, of course, hope you enjoyed the video today. Not the best of games, but still, uh, we didn't lose today, did we? So, yeah, of course, hope you enjoyed the video.
hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, feel free to uh, comment down your thoughts on the game below. And also, uh, voting for my Chess vs. Golden Month competition ends at midnight tonight. So, uh, get your votes in ASAP. So, well, my next game is away FC United in Manchester on Saturday. Uh, and as ever, I will be uh, going to the game. So, of course, on Friday, I will upload a preview for that game. And also, uh, on Saturday, we'll be going to the game. So, we'll upload a vlog of the match as well. So, of course, hope you enjoyed the video today. Come on, City. Not the best results today, but at least it's a point in the mark. So, uh, come on, you blue. So let's build new.